Bitcoin is smashing all-time highs daily and the rest of the crypto market is hot on its heels. Whether it's your first time hearing of the word blockchain or you've been crypto curious for months, there's one thing that every crypto journey begins with and that is a wallet. So if you're wondering how to set up and start exploring the world of Web3 slash crypto, you're in exactly the right place. What's up gamers, my name is Smiley Monster and I make crypto slash Web3 gaming videos. Today I'm going to walk you through how to set up your very first crypto digital wallet and how to add different blockchain networks. So first things first, what is a digital wallet? A digital wallet is kind of like your online banking app, but for crypto. It lets you store cryptocurrencies and tokens, send and receive coins securely, connect to decentralized apps, aka dApps, web free games, NFT marketplaces, and all the other good stuff. These wallets can come as apps on your phone or browser extensions on your PC, and they're your gateway to crypto. Now, there's a bunch of different wallets out there. Phantom, great for Solana, Metamask, the go-to for Ethereum, and Rabi, which is awesome for security and functions. But today, we're gonna go with the fan favorite, which is Metamask, because it's beginner friendly and widely supported. All right, now that you know what a digital wallet is, let's set one up from scratch. I'm going to walk you through how to create a MetaMask account and add other blockchain networks such as Polygon, Avalanche, BNB, etc. Now, we're going to be using a PC for this example, but it's fairly similar to install it on any mobile device. You just got to go to the App Store and follow the similar steps. The first thing you want to do is launch a browser and we're going to be using Chrome because most people use Chrome and you want to type in MetaMask. Now, the first rule of crypto is you need to make sure and verify all links because there are a bunch of scammers out here that want to take your hard earned money. So how do you verify this for yourself? I've told you it's metamask.io, but how do you know I've given you the right link? Well, you want to head over to X because most of crypto is on X and you want to find the official account. Also, if you want to stay up to date with the Web3 Crypto Gaming News, make sure to follow my account here. And then you just want to type in metamask and then go to the one that shows you the verified tick so if we click on this one it's got the golden tick this is the verified account of the organization and it has the same website which is metamask.io so we'll click that which will take us to the official metamask then you just want to click get metamask this will take you to the chrome browser extension if you're on your phone it will be from the app store and make sure again here it is metamask.io not like metamask.com or anything else because you can also install fake extensions that will steal all your crypto now you want to press add to chrome it'll give you a pop-up which says as metamask you want to click add extension and it should slowly start downloading now once metamask has been added to chrome it will open in a new tab which says here, welcome to MetaMask, the trusted by millions MetaMask is secure wallet making the world accessible to Web3. Now you wanna press get started and then you need to read the terms and conditions. But as we all know, most people just scroll to the bottom and press agree. And as you can see here, you're on the next page, which is creating your digital wallet. Now, if you already have a digital wallet, you can press import using your secret recovery phrase. But since this is a tutorial how to create one, we're going to press create a new wallet. The first thing you need to do is set up a password. This is basically like a pin for when you're using your banking app. Now, when you are creating a password, try and make it as strong as possible. So make sure that hackers don't have an easy time accessing your wallet. And you have to check if I forget this password, MetaMask cannot recover it for me. So make sure you write it down. Don't keep it on your phone. Don't keep it saved on like Google Drive. Make sure you have a physical copy and you store it in a secure place. The next step, do not risk losing your funds. Protect your wallet by saving your secret recovery phrase in a place that you trust. It is the only way to recover your wallet if you get locked out of the app or get a new device. So anytime you get a new phone or new computer and you install the extension, you're gonna need these 12 set of words to put in, as we said on the previous step, to import your seed phrase to access your wallet. Now let's click get started. So save your secret recovery phrase. This is your secret recovery phrase. Write it down in the correct order and keep it safe. If someone has your secret recovery phrase, they have access to your wallet and in turn access to all your funds. So don't share it with anyone. 
Now, normally you don't want the press tab to reveal, but since this is a tutorial video, I'm going to be showing you my 12 words. Now you wanna copy this down onto some piece of paper, but for the purposes of this video, I'm just gonna quickly copy and paste it over. Make sure you copy it in the exact right way. So example one is mushroom, two is resist, because you need to keep it in the same order. Now we press continue. Now it's gonna ask you for three out of the 12 words. And as you can see here, it's asking for the first, the fifth and the sixth. And you just wanna click here. So the first one we had was mushroom. The fifth one we had was one, two, three, five, oh no. And then the last one jungle and you want to press continue. Perfect. That's right. And remember, never share this phase with anyone. Next, you'll get this pop up. Help us improve MetaMask is up to you if you want them to use your data and use the diagnostic data to improve MetaMask. I'm just going to say no thanks. And our wallet is ready. If you lose your secret recovery phrase, you won't be able to access your wallet. As I said, this is the most important twelve word phrase of your life keep it on a piece of paper out of reach where only you know where it is. Congratulations, you've officially created your crypto digital wallet. You want to press done and it says installation complete. Now you want to press done again. And we have a pop up here saying Solana is now a MetaMask, which you can use the Solana blockchain network on MetaMask. But we're just going to close that for now. Now let's run you through the wallet. So up here you have your account and your wallet address. Here you have basically your portfolio overview and how much USD equivalent um, cryptocurrencies you have in the wallet. Then you have these buttons here, which is to buy and sell, to swap, to bridge funds from one network to another, to send funds to another wallet or to receive funds. Then you have the news bar here as well as this section, which is tokens that shows you all your tokens you currently have in the wallet. NFTs, any NFTs you have on this wallet. And then the activity, this is basically like your transaction list of what you've done on each blockchain. Now, the first thing I like to do is rename my wallet. So you wanna click on the three bars up here, go to account details, and then click on the pencil here and change account one to gaming, because this is what we're gonna be using it for. Now, if you wanna add or create another wallet, just click on the top section here and then add another account and then you will add an Ethereum account and then you select the name. So we're gonna call this smart contracts and then let's add another one and call it Vault. Now I'm gonna teach you why I've set up these three wallets in another video, but this is how I set up my wallets. Now if we click go back to gaming, now let's move on to the next part of the video, which is how to add a network. You wanna press the three bars again, go to settings, then click on security and privacy, scroll down and add a custom network. Now you can see here, there's already additional networks available, which MetaMask recommends. For example, Avalanche, you just wanna click on it and it will tell you the symbol, the network, you just press approve. And now you have access to the network. If you click on this top left section here, these are all the networks on the account. So as you can see, we have Ethereum, Base, Avalanche, Lana. Let's also add BNB, Approve, and we can also add Polygon because these are the main ones that I've been using. And then anytime you want to switch networks, you just click up on the top left and then select the network you want. Another way to add custom networks, if it's not on the list shown, you just want to go over to Google and then type in chain list. Make sure it's chainlist.org. And this is basically a database of all the blockchains available for you. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is switch it to dark mode because that is my preferred theme. And then another good thing to do is if you don't see your MetaMask extension up on the top here in the extensions tab, just click on the extensions tab, find MetaMask and then press pin and it will be always available here. Now we're gonna click MetaMask, it is unlocked, which is nice. So now we are going to select a network to add. Now we might as well just select Arbitrum 1 because a lot of people use it. You can use this down arrow here and you'll get a list of custom RPC servers, but the easiest way is to press connect wallet. Now I am gonna change it from my gaming wallet to my smart contracts wallet, and you'll find out why in the next video. But it's a good rule of thumb to always connect the dApps with the smart contracts wallet. Now you're gonna press approve. And as easy as that, if we go back to this tab, the Arbitrum 1 network has been added. 
the other way to add a network for example if we want to add the optimism network you want to click on it and it will give you a list of mainnet rpc server urls go back to metamask scroll down to here click add custom network now it will tell you to input this information so if you go back over to chain list we might as well do the op mainnet you want to copy the name and then paste it here then you want to copy a rpc server i'm just gonna copy this one add over add url now you want to copy over the chain id which is this paste and the symbol which is op for optimism and then you know press save and it says it was successfully added so if we click here we now have the optimism main net as well that's pretty much it for this video hopefully you guys have learned what a digital wallet is how to set up your manage your own digital wallet and how to add networks in various ways as always if you enjoyed the content make sure to smash that like button and hit that subscribe button or if you're on other platforms make sure to smash that follow button if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comment section below or leave a post i try and answer all the questions or comments that are posted and if you want to connect with me when i'm not live streaming or talking to you through videos like this feel free to join my discord server it's the quick and easiest way to get a hang of me and i'm generally hanging around there most of the time as always guys thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video peace